to you all very warm welcome to you all so today we are going to proceed with the next chapter and as always i am going to give a riddle to guess what is the chapter name all right are you all ready students all right so i'm going to start with the riddle okay i am the one where all your sense organ decides i am the one which helps you to do all the functions like cooking playing walking running i am the one where all your body parts recite can you guess who am i come on guess students who am i there is a picture behind me there is a picture in the presentation can you see can you all guess yes you all guess it right students our chapter is related to human body chapter chapter is the body movements all right students so this is your chapter 5 in your class 6 ncert books all right students hope you all all are ready so in this chapter we all are going to study about the human body obviously about the human body okay number 2 we are going to study about the bones all the uh, musculoskeletal system we are going to study about the musculoskeletal system means about the muscles plus all your skeleton system and ma'am what is skeleton system everything the detailing we are going to study afterwards just we are going to just discuss now about the topics okay then we are going to study what is this musculoskeletal system is made up of what are the things what are the uh, what you can say organs or uh, muscles which are involved in this whole muscular skeletal system so students we are going to learn about the bones muscles joints okay and then types of joints there are many kinds of joints in your body we are going to study about them okay so shall we start students all right students we are going to start the chapter okay students now you can see the slide you can see there are three human bodies here okay 1 2 3 what is the difference between all three all these three bodies you can see this is your human body this is your natural human body which we all have this what is this can you guess these are the organs which are present inside the human body okay the heart the stomach the liver the lungs all the human body parts which are present inside the human body all these parts you have studied in the previous classes in the junior class classes you have studied that you are having certain body parts inside the body the brain the uh, the skull the lungs the liver the heart everything you have learned then this is something which you are, which you don't know i guess you don't know okay student this is the skeleton what is this this is the skeleton what is this skeleton can you see this skeleton can you uh, uh, imagine okay i uh, now i want you to imagine your body you, i want you to feel your body okay this is your, your hand right just hold it do like this can you feel some hardy portion along the side can you feel it can you feel it and can you feel this portion this is very soft can you feel this portion okay you all know this is the skin all right this is your skin you can feel it when you pinch it you can feel it okay now there is something beneath it which is very hard bahut sakht hai it's it's a very hard like a rock okay you can feel it so then all the all the parts where you are feeling some hardy portion is there this is the skeleton what is this the skeleton which look like this yes some people will call it as a ghost the bhoot no but it is a skeleton there is the skeleton which is present inside behind underneath this skin okay there is a human skeleton the skeleton is nothing but the arrangement of bones present inside the body okay like you can uh, refer it as a tree okay kya ek tree aise khada rehta hai uski jo branches hain stems hain roots hain wo kisi se connected hai na there is a body jo use hold kare hue hai अगर वो बॉडी नहीं है तो पत्ता इधर जाएगा स्टेम कहीं और जाएगी रूट्स कहीं और जाएंगे लीव्स कहीं और जाएंगे दे विल बी एयरी वो हवा में उड़ रहे होंगे देर इज नो नथिंग विच कैन कनेक्ट देम विच कैन अप्रूव देम 
so there is certain certain skeleton system certain framework which connect all these body parts all these parts of plants likewise in the plants we also have a skeleton system the framework which can adjoin all your bones the muscles jo jo the joints which are present underneath the skin ओके okay? हमारे को भगवान ने बहुत ही नेचुरल तरीके से बना के भेजा है बहुत सारी चीजें हम पे जोड़ी जोड़ी गई हैं जो हमारे सारे मूवमेंट्स को क्या करती हैं मूवमेंट्स को करने में हेल्प करती हैं हम रन कर सकते हैं क्योंकि हमारे पास लेग्स है द बॉडी पार्ट है पर क्या सिर्फ लेग्स की जरूरत होती है हमें भागने के लिए कुछ और स्टोरी भी चल रही होती है हमारे अंदर इन द नैनो सेकेंड्स बहुत छोटे से कम टाइम पर हमारे पूरी बॉडी एक फंक्शन को काम करने में लगी रहती है तो पहले हमने जान लिया कि हमारी बॉडी सिर्फ स्किन नहीं है ओके स्टूडेंट्स हमारी बॉडी सिर्फ स्किन नहीं है देर इज अ बोनी स्ट्रक्चर विच इज प्रेजेंट अंडर नीथ द स्किन विच इज ह्यूमन स्केलेटन जैसे हम बोलते हैं स्केलेटन ओके okay? जो ऐसा दिखता है हड्डियों का ढांचा द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ बोन्स द कलेक्शन ऑफ बोन्स इज द्यूमन स्केलेटन ओके नाउ हेयर कम्स द डेफिनेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन स्केलेटन ओके इन योर एनसीआर टी बुक एनसीआर टी बुक इज सेइंग दैट दिस इज द फ्रेमवर्क कॉल द स्केलेटन ओके द फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ बोन्स किसका फ्रेमवर्क है फ्रेमवर्क यानी कि एक डिजाइन एक पैटर्न ओके okay? किसका पैटर्न है स्केलेटन बोन्स uh, का बोन्स भी ऐसे नहीं है कि कोई से भी बोन्स कहीं पे भी जुड़ गई जो स्कल में काम आएंगी वो स्कल में लगी हुई है जो हमारे हाथ में काम आएंगी वो हमारे हाथ में हैंड्स में जो हमारे लेग्स में काम आएंगी वो लेग्स में है ओके तो दिस फ्रेमवर्क इज कॉल्ड द स्केलेटन द ह्यूमन स्केलेटन द ह्यूमन स्केलेटन हमने इसको ह्यूमन स्केलेटन बोला है एनिमल का है तो एनिमल स्केलेटन क्योंकि हम अभी ह्यूमन के स्केलेटन के बारे में पढ़ रहे हैं तो वी आर कॉलिंग इट एज ह्यूमन स्केलेटन ओके so human skeleton is a complex structure so then this is a complex structure because human is performing many functions at a time hum log bol bhi rahe hain main jaise bol rahi hu haath bhi hila rahi hu there are many functions which i am doing at a point of time so it is a complex structure because our body has many parts okay our skull also has many tiny bits organs present in uh, at joint together to make the skull okay and this whole body my students it is made up of 206 bones how many bones 206 bones in total all these bones have muscles also joints also so with over and all there is a vast structure which is going underneath us okay behind us okay so that is why we have called it as a complex structure difficult uh, structure okay कॉम्प्लेक्स सेवरल एंड इज कम्पोज ऑफ सेवरल पार्ट बहुत सारे पार्ट इसके साथ जुड़े हुए हैं ईच सर्विंग स्पेसिफिक फंक्शन इन सपोर्टिंग द बॉडी प्रोटेक्टिंग द वाइटल ऑर्गन एंड फेसिलिटेटिंग द मूवमेंट ओके ये तीन काम है हमारे पूरे ह्यूमन स्केलेटन के हमारी बॉडी को सपोर्ट करना हमारे बोन्स को मसल्स को सपोर्ट करना हमारी बॉडी के साथ जितने भी वाइटल ऑर्गन है वाइटल मतलब बहुत क्रूशियल ऑर्गन्स बहुत ही क्रूशियल है हमें हम उनको खोने का बिल्कुल भी हम उसका लॉस बर्दाश्त नहीं कर सकते अगर हमारा हार्ट गया मान लो फॉर सपोज अनफॉर्चुनेटली कोई भी इंसान फेस करता है एक्सीडेंट ओके इसलिए बोलते हैं कि व्हेन यू आर ड्राइविंग अ व्हीकल प्लीज कैरी योर हेलमेट विद यू ओके वाई बिकॉज दैट हेलमेट इज गोइंग टू प्रोटेक्ट योर स्कल ओके इफ देर ये हमारा जो सर है सिर्फ अंदर से ये हमारा सर ऐसे नहीं दिखता देर इज अ स्कल पूरा हमारा जो हमारे ब्रेन का पूरा बोन है हार्डेस्ट पार्ट है हमारा जो बचाया गया है इसके इसके वजह से बचा हुआ है और जब हम इसके ऊपर हेलमेट पहन लेते हैं तो हमको डबल प्रोटेक्शन मिल जाती है तो हमारा जो स्केलेटन है वो क्या कर रहा है हमारे वाइटल ऑर्गन को प्रोटेक्ट कर रहा है सपोर्ट कर रहा है और और क्या कर रहा है मूवमेंट को फैसिलिटेट कर रहा है ताकि हम सारी मूवमेंट्स को अच्छे से कर सकें तो ह्यूमन स्केलेटन इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स स्ट्रक्चर विच इज कम्पोज ऑफ सेवरल वर्ड कम्पोज ऑफ सेवरल बॉडी बोन्स ठीक है विच आर प्रोटेक्टिंग द ह्यूमन बॉडी प्रोटेक्टिंग द वाइटल ऑर्गन सपोर्टिंग इट एंड फैसिलिटेट द मूवमेंट ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द ह्यूमन स्केलेटन ओके सो टिल नाउ वी हैव अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस बॉडी इज नॉट अ स्किन अंडर नेट देर आर फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ बोन्स विच इज स्केलेटन मैम 
मैम बट वी हैव डिफरेंट बॉडी पार्ट राइट वी हैव स्कल वी हैव दिस थ्रॉट वी हैव लंग्स लिवर हाउ कम ओनली वन स्केलेटन इज मैनेजिंग ऑल दीज Yes, only one skeleton is managing all these. But 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 we have different different bones in every different organs. Okay, we are going to differentiate. We are going to classify. We are going to group the human skeleton. This one skeleton is subdivided into several body parts, which have different 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 bones with it. Okay, so first first uh, skeleton is divided into the axial skeleton. Okay. axial skeleton which comprises of the skull you can see it the skull the vertebral column the ribs and the sternum okay vertebral column look like this 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 is a vertebral column this back one okay back bone okay and the ribs which are present in the front okay where is your lungs there is a rib cage okay in ncert don't worry you don't have to learn all these parts ncert is only telling you to learn about the vertebral column and the ribs this is extra information because i have to tell you that the axial skeleton comprises of the skull vertebral column the ribs and the sternum okay these four structures are present inside the axial skeleton okay so we will start with the skull the skull this skull okay protects the brain and houses the sensory organs okay this skull you can see on the uh, screen this is your skull which is comprises of many sensory organs as you can feel it you, you have eyes nose lips the mouth which you are having the tongue where you can taste okay the whole skull is connected with the sensory organs such as eyes and ears also it consists of cranium and closing the brain and the facial bones okay the brain the skull have the main important part of your body which is brain which is protected by the cranium this part okay this is the extra information which you which may be uh come in your uh, what you can say the competition exams okay next this vertebral column the spine okay reed ki haddi have you heard this reed ki haddi the spine the backbone where all your body is intact with which is very important agar aapko yahan pe chot lag jati hai aapke backbone mein to jo insaan hai wo seedha khada nahi ho pata okay because hamari backbone hi hai jo hame upright khada karke rakhti hai okay so you can see this is the spine this structure is of spine like this when you are standing like this it is it it shows like this and by behind from behind it look like this okay this is in science this is known as vertebral column okay let's see what it has vertebral column or spine the spine supports the body and protects the spinal cord it is composed of individual vertebrae separated by in vertebral disc allowing flexibility and movements okay so this vertebral column is composed of many vertebrae okay these are the vertebrae this can you see this vertebrae in plural we pronounce it as vertebrae as vertebrae okay and certain disc which is connected in the middle of this disc like structure okay this is very vital part student okay no naming are coming uh, in your syllabus there is no namings so these are only the extra information which is given you have to just identify the structure what is it is known as where it is and its functions okay so it is helps in supporting the body it helps in making the body to stand upright not even stand but we are going to sit also due to the spinal cord okay due to the presence of spinal cord due to the vertebral column okay i hope you are understanding it well okay then the part is ribs okay ribs it is it is present in front okay where all your lungs are present this ribs are ribs are present okay here you can see you can see this structure this one this whole structure is your ribs 
so students here is your lungs also present okay above the lungs ek jala sa hota hai ek cage hoti hai wo kyu hoti hai kyunki hamare lungs ko wo bacha rahi hai us cage ko hum kehte hain rib cage kya kehte hain bachcho rib cage kyunki wo cage rib se milkar bana hai wo hamare heart ko bhi bacha raha hai aur hamare lungs ko bhi bacha raha hai theek hai rings are long curved bones that form the framework of the rib cage there are typically 12 pairs of rib cage rib cage in humans aage piche dekh aap sakte hain ek do aise kar kar ke 12 pairs hain yani ki 24 in total okay hamare jo ribs hain wo 24 ho gaye provides a protection to the vital organs such as the heart and the lungs okay you just need to learn about the function the location okay these two things you have to learn the location and the function all right and if there comes uh, if you, they are going to ask you about the definition you are going to write that cage rib cage kya hai aapka curved bone se composed of hai jiska 12 pair hote hain hamari body mein jo hamari body mein lungs aur heart ko protect karke rakha hua hai theek hai then is sternum the breast bone the sternum is a flat bone located in the center of the chest it serve as an attachment point for ribs and muscles of the chest so this sternum is present yes it is uh, it is the bone flat bone which is present over our chest okay the lungs the rib cage the sternum all are present in front this in front okay so what it is doing this is just the attachment point jahan pe aapki ribs aake judti hain this is not in your syllabus but axial system axial skeleton is composed of skull vertebral column the ribs and the sternum which is just a flat bone where all the ribs are adjoined with okay hope you are understanding that's it about the axial skeleton now this uh, your human skeleton is further subdivided into a pendicular skeleton okay a pendicular skeleton it's it's ab all about the upper limbs okay the four limbs okay we can say it as upper limbs okay the hands the shoulder all this the hands fingers bones all this comes under appendicular skeleton okay okay so your appendicular system is, is start with the collar bone collar bone is known as clavicle okay and, but it is not in your syllabus but your appendicular skeleton starts with the collar bone it's it's in the collar okay like the shirt has the collar in that way the location is the same Where where your uh, shirt collar resides, there is your clavicle bone. Okay, so it just connects the arm to the body and helps stabilize the shoulder joint. हमारे shoulder को इस clavicle ने पकड़ा हुआ है, join कर रखा है. नहीं तो आपका shoulder hang कर रहा होता, है ना? We have a skeleton. That's why all the bones are adjoined together and making a whole framework, which is known as human skeleton. And then the whole body residing over it, right? Then the thing which is in your ncrt which is in syllabus that this is scapula the shoulder blade okay here it is you can see this this point this is your <clears throat> this is uh, this is actually the scapula here and then some small small bones which are connected and to make the scapula this is subdivided but you don't need to uh, learn the name don't worry about this you just you just uh, the, you have to learn the highlighted part the red part which i have highlighted already you just have to learn that okay no need to learn all the big names because that's in that's not in your syllabus okay so scapula the scapula is a flat triangular bone that articulates with the humerus to form the shoulder joint okay then uh, what is humerus students this is your hand right you can see this is your hand this is your shoulder this part from from shoulder to this part till the elbow this is the humerus humerus bone is present there okay this is the humerus bone so shoulder the scapula is connected with this humerus all bones are connected together to form one big organ likewise this whole hand is your one or organ the shoulder bone the, uh, this clavicle the collar bone is connected with the scapula which is shoulder bone then this scapula is connected with the humerus which is your what you call this bicep tricep all comes here no so this whole uh, what is this the, this bone is known as humerus okay all right 
and this is the longest bone of the upper part not not the, in the whole body there is some some thing some other uh, name of the bone which is longest of, of them all but for the fore limb i'm talking about the fore limb the upper limb upper limb ne sirf humerus hi hamari badi bone hai okay the uh, so the humerus is a long bone of the upper arm connecting to the connecting the shoulder to the elbow okay aapko learn ho jayega na c c for clavicle s for scapula and s for shoulder c for clavicle which means the collar bone c c clavicle collar bone clavicle collar bone scapula uh, is your shoulder bone s s okay then this is your hand this one upper part of the hand is humerus okay so this is the largest bone in the upper limb okay then uh, the radius and ulna what are these these bones are located in the forearm the radius on the thumb side and the ulna is on the pinky side this is the thumb and this is your pinky finger right so these are the bones of your fingers okay this you can see here this is a bone which is connecting to the thumb and ulna which is connecting to your pinky finger okay so next one is carpals metacarpals and phalanges these bones make up the wrist your palm and fingers respectively okay carpals wrist mein hoti hai aapki metacarpals aapki palm banati hai palm is mutthi mutthi wala jo ye hota hai part this is your palm and phalanges is in your uh, fingers bones okay this whole make up the appendicular system the clavicle shoulder humerus metacarpals carpals and phalanges all made your appendicular system upper limb wala appendicular system do bhago mein baata gaya hai bachcho appendicular system ke do hisse hai ek aapka upper limb ka hai aur aapka lower limb ka hai limb okay to abhi humne upper limb khatam kar diya okay now we will proceed with the lower limb so here you can see the lower limb okay lower limb only this highlighted part you have to learn only pelvic region the hip region is only discussed in your ncrt so you have to learn only about this but we are going to have the information just just to know what all is present in the lower limb so you can see the structure from here underneath your ribs all your part is lower limb okay okay we are not talking about the organ students we are talking about the bones okay the bones haddi ke bare mein baat kar rahe hain okay to hum aap log ye mat bolna ki ribs ke niche to hamari stomach hai no we are not talking about the organs we are talking about the bones okay so lower limb mein hamara kya aata hai bachcho ab do, wo jo bhi aapka part hai sabse pehle aapka pelvic region aata hai okay this part you can see this part ring like structure जो आपको ऐसा दिखेगा लाइक दिस यू कैन सी दिस दिस इज योर पेल्विस रीजन ओके हेयर द पेल्विस रीजन इज मेड अप ऑफ थ्री बोन्स ओके इलियम इसकियम एंड द प्यूबिस ओके दीज थ्री मेजर विच वन इलियम सॉरी ilium ischium and pubis bones okay it supports the trunk and protects the pelvic organs hota kya hai ki teeno ki teeno bones connect hokar do ring like structure banati hain jisko hum pelvic bone kehte hain wo hamari hip bone bhi hoti hai okay like this you can see this one this bone is ilium this bone is pubis and this is ischium okay then this made the pubis region all right students what all is present in the lower limbs femur now student femur is your thigh bone okay and it is the largest bone in our body okay the largest bone is femur and the lowest bone can you guess what is the lowest bone inside our body so students the the smallest bone not lowest 
the smallest bone is sternum which is present inside our ear students inside our ear there is a very small bone which is known as sternum okay and the big bone is femur the thigh bone okay ye main aapko isliye bata rahi hu kyunki ye name them me as a short questions aapko aa jate hain theek hai the femur is a thigh bone the longest and the strongest bone inside the body it articulates with pelvis at the hip joint and with the tibia at the knee joint okay you just have to read it this all only pelvis uh, bone is talked about in the ncert then it, there is patella knee cap the patella is a small flat bone located located in front of the knee joint it protects obviously it protects the knee and improves the leverage of the quadriceps muscles these muscles are present inside the knee okay leverage means flexibility jo bhi isko carry karne hai functions apne apne wo usko kar sakegi patella ke madhyam se tibia and fibula jaise abhi aapne padha ki jo aapke carpals metacarpals होते हैं उससे पहले जो छोटी छोटी बोन्स हैं जो कनेक्ट कर रही हैं आपके छोटे छोटे फिंगर्स को वहां पे हमने पढ़ा था ऐसे ही टिबिया और फिबुला भी जो बोन्स हैं वो आपके लोअर लेग को कनेक्ट करती हैं ठीक है आ, उसके बाद आपका टार्सल्स मेटासार्सल्स एंड पेलेंजेस हैं ये आपके एंकल इन स्टेप टोर्स को कनेक्ट करती है ओके तो दैट्स ऑल फॉर द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर ओके वेयर वी हैव स्टडीड ऑल अबाउट द skeleton okay the skeleton is comprises of what what bones and then skeleton is subdivided into several parts okay uh, first we have learned that it is uh, made of axial skeleton which is comprised of the skull the rib cage the vertebral column the sternum okay and then we uh, learn about the appendicular skeleton which is subdivided into two parts the upper limb and the lower limb in the upper limb we have studied the collar bone the shoulder bone the humerus and radius ulna and metacarpals carpals phalanges okay and then we have uh, uh, studied about the second part of appendicular system which is lower limbs where we have to learn about the pelvis femur patella tibia fibula tarsals metatarsals and phalanges okay where you have to learn about the pelvis region only okay that's all for the first part only for to continue i'm going to continue this uh, chapter in the second part okay so till then stay tuned students okay bye bye take care